All right, so now that I'm in Pixlr, I'm gonna click open image. And mine should be in my recents. Yep, there it is. And then I select the picture and then click open. And I have this shot of a monarch on some flowers in my garden. So what we're gonna do this week is do what's called selective color, where we're gonna turn the image into black and white and then reintroduce some of the color parts. So in order to do that, you need two layers of the same image. So we go up to layer, duplicate layer, and now you can see on the right-hand side on the layers palette that I have the background layer and the background copy layer. So I wanna make sure I'm selected on that one, um, on the, the top one, because that's the one you ultimately view. Click adjustment, go to hue and saturation. And you guys will remember if you take the saturation all the way down, it turns it into black and white. And then I'm gonna click apply. And so if I turn this off, you can still see that I still have the color image underneath. So I'm gonna go over and choose my eraser. And even though it says brush up here, this is basically the attributes of whatever tool you're on. So if I click on brush, I can change the size and the softness of it. Um, if you have a hard edge, sometimes it'll give you a hard line around something. And I'm gonna drop down to about 20 with a fuzzy edge still. And the way to get this box to close is just to click someplace outside of it. So now I'm gonna zoom in because I wanna focus right on the butterfly. And I'm just going to erase. And what happens is you'll see the color version underneath. So this brush is a little small for the center part. So I'm gonna bump up. And all I have to do is erase it. Now my mouse is acting a little funny because it's recording and I'm screencasting and everything. So it's a challenge to do it this way. But one of the really cool things about this kind of program is you can zoom in and get right up next to something and then I can change my brush to be a little smaller. You can actually go down to one pixel. You could do this one pixel at a time. And I, I was working for a company for a while where that's what I was doing. So I'm used to the way that looks, but I'm dropping it down to 10. And because this is a Monarch butterfly, it, it's black and white and a little bit of color at the edges. So I'm just gonna get very careful around the edge. So you can go and erase around the edges and then come back and, and do the centers of things. Whoops, I went outside and you can see it's a little green there and I don't want that green to show. So I'm just gonna either hit Control Z as undo or just back up a step on my eraser. And you know, if you're doing something that's like a careful edge, sometimes it pays to do a little bit and then start again. So that if you hit undo, you're not undoing a whole lot of it. And so when I zoom out, eventually when I have all of that erased, um, you're gonna see the color just in that spot. And then what I did for my example was I actually added um, color back to some of these flowers uh, because I thought that would make a nice contrast to have that, that purple showing. You know, So I would go through and very carefully finish all that up. So any questions? Are these in, these instructions are on Canvas, correct? No, they are not. But I just recorded that, and I will upload it to Canvas for us. Um, but I, I'd be happy to walk everybody through it.